hey hey what's up welcome back to the channel i gotta help you guys out i gotta help you because you probably have not bought your ethereum yet you probably have not set up a wallet yet okay slow down for a second because this is what you need to understand okay ethereum is something that you need to have all right we're, we're gonna learn some more about it in, in some future videos and a wallet not a traditional wallet i know you probably got one of them already in your purse or your back pocket or something like that but we're not talking about a traditional wallet we're talking about a digital based wallet okay something that you can stick your ethereum inside of all right so that you don't have to leave it on uh on the exchange uh that you do your trading on okay that is a very uh, risky thing to do. We probably already seen some companies go under and, and actually take some of your, your 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 digital assets with them. All right, we don't want to do that. So we're gonna take we're gonna we're gonna actually uh, uh, show you how to set up a digital wallet. Okay, uh, and how to how to go onto uh, the exchange that I'm gonna be dealing with today, which is Polonian X, so that you can actually be set up so that you can actually start trading. Okay, so first of all, to buy Ethereum, you're gonna need some Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to transfer your Bitcoin onto the exchange where uh, where you want to do your Ethereum uh, trading at, you, you know. So uh, Ethereum can definitely be uh, bought with USD, but with, with the introduction of uh, Bitcoin, it makes it a lot more easier. Um, you know to deal to deal with bitcoin right now we i recommend yeah you know, this is e trade okay now e trade is actually uh you know they land the foundation for me to actually present this to you uh but you know i'm gonna use some of my uh some of my best practices okay now i recommend buying ethereum on the opponent exchange uh why because it's one of the largest and uh the trading volume over there is actually is actually bigger than all the rest of them right so uh in, inside this pdf and i actually leave a link to this pdf so they shoot so that you can actually go back and um and actually uh uh, uh go through this yourself right uh but i'm gonna leave a link to polonian x uh and you can go on there uh, uh, trade, uh, uh, move your, you move your, your Ethereum or your Bitcoin from, from your wallet onto the exchange. Okay. And let you, let's click on this. Okay. Because the inside this PDF, everything is a clickable link and you'll be able to go right over there. Okay. Once you're over here on the Ethereum exchange, uh, it's very easy. If you haven't signed in, I'm, I'm gonna go right here. So if you have, if you have signed in, it's very easy to make a deposit into this account. I'm gonna go right over here to where it says balances. I'm going to go down to where it says deposits and withdrawal. I'm going to click on that. And right now, uh, it's several different coins that they trade on, on, on Polonian X. Uh, but I'm going to have some of the zero balances and deal with some of the more uh, more common or, or the more popular uh, coins. Okay, I got Bitcoin. I got Ethereum Classic. I got Ethereum List, Steam. Uh, and it's very easy to deposit into either one of these accounts. Okay, if you want to move some Bitcoin over here uh and i'll show you how you set up that bitcoin wallet in just a second all right uh but you click on that deposit button you can either copy this this uh 26 alphanumeric code right there you can copy that and you can paste it or you can use this code right here and you can scan that code okay now uh um you're just stepping back a minute uh just give me one second here now stepping back a minute um I do want to bring your attention to uh, a couple of other exchanges that you can actually purchase Ethereum on. Uh, Kraken.com, uh, Gatecoin, Bitfinex, and Bitfinex actually just got hacked a little while ago. It's one of the more of a reason why you should not leave uh, your currencies on the exchanges, uh, especially not not a whole lot of them. Okay, um, but anyway, uh, LiveCoin.net. Uh, I deal with a couple of those. I deal with LiveCoin, just a little bit cracking, just a little bit. So uh, if you do want some more informational videos on that, just leave a comment or something like that. Make a mention of it. I'll definitely jump into it. It's not a big deal. Okay, but a full exchange list, a full list of exchanges uh, where you can buy Ethereum can be found right here at CoinMarketCap. CoinMarketCap is a place that I go to on a daily basis, uh, on a daily basis to actually uh, find out you know what a market is okay I'm actually let me see do I have uh, that pulled up already uh, I don't have coin market cap pulled up already I don't really want to spend too much time on this video because again I'm gonna be leaving uh, a copy of this PDF I'm gonna leave a link to this PDF right <coughs> up under this video somewhere so that you can actually uh, uh, go back and and you know do your homework on this whenever you feel like it right but to check any transaction balance or any wallet 
uh, visit the visit the official block explorer okay and they call this eat the scan .io. eat the scan .io. you can find out any transaction that's happened on the blockchain okay okay one of the things that I love about this is that it is an open source deal is 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 public information okay so there's no slick stuff going on you can try to be slick about it but eventually somebody is gonna uh, unmask you and you will be fingered. You will be pointed out. You dig what I'm saying? So don't try to do no slick stuff around here. Uh, it is not appreciated in this space. All right. If you're planning on doing a long term invest investment with Ethereum, we recommend that you install a wallet app on your computer. OK, on your computer. So the only way that you can actually lose this is if you lose the computer. So you want to you want to definitely make sure that you are in control of your money and your money is protected. OK, so to wrap this up, I'm going to show you how to set up that wallet. OK, now my preference is uphold okay uphold uh uphold.com you go over here it's free to sign up it's not going to cost you anything but when you sign up uh, over here they're going to give you it's, it's like a central point for all of your all your currencies okay they give you a, a a digital card for each one of these currencies okay now we're going to be focused on the btc card okay the bitcoin card now on this bitcoin card uh it it, it actually has a, a lot of different slots you know a couple of different slots Okay, I'm gonna go to add funds real quick. Go to see my virtual currencies. You see these different slots right here. They got a Bitcoin slot, a Ethereum slot, Litecoin, and Box out. Now, right here at this Ethereum slot, and this is actually you know, the place where I will go to add funds. Okay, I can send my funds or add my funds, withdraw my funds, and I actually see the activity uh, right there. Okay, so um, now going back over to Polonian X because this is the place. Uphold is the place my wallet again where i'm gonna send my digital currencies to i mean from i'm gonna send my digital currencies from here uh right over to polonian x okay so uh over here on polonian x uh is very simple uh if you don't know anything about polonian x up to this point i definitely got a video for you can check it out i'll leave a link at the bottom if not you know subscribe to my channel like don't forget that okay but anyway when you get over here to Poloniex it's very easy to deposit money into this account uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to balances I'm gonna run down to where it says deposits and withdrawals and from here uh, you can see Poloniex actually has several different coins with it that, that they actually trade uh, but I'm gonna deal with some of the ones uh, that I, I'm, I'm more uh, recently have dealt with uh, but Bitcoin so if I wanted to go and add Bitcoin over here okay I just go click on deposit I can copy and paste this uh, this 26 alphanumeric code right here and, and copy and paste it. Now, I don't want to make any errors when I'm trying to uh, make this deposit, okay? Because any errors uh, uh, could be, you know, could, could be the end of it, all right? You won't, the, the money will be lost, all right? Now, either you can copy and paste it or you can show the QR code. Now, I usually do this on my smartphone, uh, on my iPhone. So, uh, you know, once I get to the point in, inside of Uphold, again, because, again, I'm using Uphold. I can download this uh, from 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 the App Store, and um, anyway, I go, I, I paste that uh, alphanumeric code in there. Uh, but if I'm on my smartphone, I definitely take a picture of it to make it a little bit more easier. Uh, but I'll copy that from here because this is the place where I want to deposit it at. I'm gonna run back to Uphold, and it says type of username, email, or crypto address, right? So I'll paste it there. Okay, now pay attention because this part it does get a little bit tricky. Because remember, over here on Poloniex, they specifically tell you that. Uh, give me one sec. They specifically tell you to send only BTC to this deposit address. Okay, sending other any other currency may result in the loss of your deposit. So you want to pay attention right here. We don't want to get this part wrong. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to send a Bitcoin amount. All right. We're not going to send a USD amount. We're not going to send a Ethereum amount. OK, so right up here again, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this. OK, and, and I'm and I'm copying and pasting this exactly how it is right here, because I want to send my balance in its entirety over to Polonian X. All right. This is only a small balance. So, hey, just send it all over there. All right. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to run back right here. I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to make sure that this says BTC, okay? Now, remember, it can say ET, ETH, or it can even say USD, or, or it can say any any one of those, all right? But I want to make sure that I'm sending this to my BTC wallet, okay? All right, cool. So once I've done that, it's going to take about 5, 10, 15, maybe even 20, 30, 30 minutes maybe, all right? It's going to take a little bit of time for them to transfer uh, from the Bitcoin wallet back over to Polonian X. 
Uh, but once it's on Polonian X, it'll be very easy for you to see. Um, again, it's going to be right in your Bitcoin wallet. So you'll be able uh, to come here and actually see the total balance uh, that you now have in um, uh, your Bitcoin wallet. All right. So that's pretty much it. I think I've covered uh, pretty much everything uh, today in this video. I just, again, I just wanted to um, go over how you can get you some Ethereum, all right? You want to you wanna be buying Ethereum. You want to be storing it in your wallet. You don't want to be leaving that money over on the exchange, anything like that. You want to keep, make sure your investment is safe. Make sure it's secure, okay? It's called risk management, all right? But anyway, thanks again for checking this video out. I, I have some more videos coming very soon. Please keep your eyes wide open for that. But thanks for checking me out. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.